So I got these wheels from Aero Ham. I think that's Aero Ham. Let's check them out. So there you go. It's basically, it's a satin black finish, basically a replica of the Uber turbine wheels that are on the Model 3 Performance and Model Y Performance, but in 18 inch hubcap format. We're gonna see if these make your car more efficient or just as efficient or less efficient as what comes with your Tesla Model 3. Also as a comparison, so here's the OEM one. Here's the Aeroham one. It comes with the same ring that's on the back. Also the quality of the clips is identical. So I think the quality is certainly there on this piece. The main question is, does it provide the same, if not better amount of efficiency? Also, I'll have a discount code linked in the description. As you guys know, this is a science channel, so we do science here. So we're gonna weigh the Aeroham wheel. The, it's interesting, the wheel is actually, the hub, sorry, is actually slightly larger in diameter. So it gives you a little more coverage over your rim edge, which I, I actually kind of like. So we're just gonna weigh them to get a comparison. So just did a tear, tear, remember that from chemistry? So we did that, 24.44 oses. Someone in the comments gonna not understand that and they're gonna be like, it's ounces, you idiot. Who is this guy? Ooh. 21.30 ounces. Also, to those of you wondering, there is a Tesla logo that comes in here and fills this out. I just don't have it yet, and I wanted to get the test done, but that does come with it, and you'll be able to see that on their website. So there you go, that's the difference between the two of them. Now let's do our efficiency test. Also, I've partnered up with Charity Stars, who is giving away a Model 3 Performance, and I'll show you how to win that in a minute. So here's the parameters we're gonna be using. Tire pressure is at 41 PSI all the way around. We have the temperature set to 65, and we have the fan speed set to six. We didn't wanna do it on automatic in case the cabin heats up more or cools down. That way it's running at a consistent speed for this entire test. We'll be in chill mode. We're gonna be going five miles per hour over the speed limit. The speed limit on this road is 65 miles per hour. We'll be going 70. We'll also be on adaptive cruise control. We won't be on autopilot. That way there's no chance of phantom braking or anything like that. Actually, I guess there's still a chance. Uh, we're gonna be on dynamic cruise control. That way, if we need to change lanes, we're able to maintain our 70 mile per hour speed. Let's do run one with no hubcaps on. So this is cool here. We're resetting the current trip so we can have data on each one. You can actually rename them. It's kind of cool. Tesla Hub, new website. As I said earlier, I've partnered up with Charity Stars again. They're giving away a Model 3 performance and they are covering the taxes and shipping if you're in the United States. If you go to charitystars.com slash Jeebs, that will give you an extra 500 entries. So if you donate $10 toward the cause, you'll get 600 entries to win the Model 3 performance. If you're not familiar, the Model 3 performance is zero to 60 in 3.1 seconds. You have the Tesla charging network, 470 horsepower, all wheel drive. It's an insane car. So not only will you have a chance to win the car by donating to Charity Stars, you'll also be supporting Guardian Group this time through. So your money goes to a good cause and you'll have a chance to win a Model 3 performance. And thank you to Charity Stars once again for partnering with me. Guys, the link is in the description or go to charitystars.com slash Jeeves. All right, so that was test one. So that's a 20 mile loop that we just did. We used five kilowatt hours of energy. Average was 232 watt hours per mile. So now we are gonna put the Tesla hubcaps on and see if that makes a difference. Also, check out this device Andrew has. You know I'm gonna Amazon link it. Watch this, watch this. Oh my God. Best uh, Tesla accessory. Hashtag Tesla accessories that will change your life. This is another one. Beautiful. I'll have a link in the description. All right, we got our trip reset and we are on our way, folks. So this is impressive. We've saved a full kilowatt hour of total energy used. I think on the previous one it was five, 
and we also ran at 220 watt hours per mile. Previously, we ran at 232 watt hours per mile. Again, 20 mile loop, everything was the same. Also previously, we drove the car around a little bit so the battery was at a proper temperature. So yes, there was absolutely an improvement with the Tesla hubs. Now we're gonna put on the Aeroham help. Now we're, I don't know how to say it. We're, now we're gonna put on the Aeroham hubs, the hamburgers, we're gonna see how that does. That looks really good. It's a really good looking wheel. I like that it get, it sticks out a little bit more. Makes it look like a 19 inch. Yeah, it makes the wheel look bigger. So clean, plus it's fully black, satin black. Yeah, I highly recommend these. Just, I mean, just off of the look of them. Again, they'll be linked in the description. Helps the channel out if you guys use that code. My discount code saves you a little bit of money, but yeah, hopefully these get us some better range. All right, so we're coming up on our third and final test here. Again, it says Tesla hub, but it's actually the Aeroham one that we have on. Also, I'm sorry to say it again, but these are the best floor mats in the world. 3D Mats USA makes the best floor mats. If you're looking for floor mats, don't waste your money on anything else. Get 3D Mats, use my code linked in the description. It'll, it's gonna save you time. They stick better, they fit better. They are the, did it phantom break again? So we just went through a section there and I've noticed this in my Model Y, it phantom brakes in consistent areas on our route. There's three areas I think on this route where the car has just phantom braked and it's just subtle, they, none of them were that bad, but I just don't understand what happens in the road that, that tricks the cameras into thinking that the car needs to slow down. If you guys have any ideas, let me know in the comments. We're at five kilowatt hours of total energy used on this trip, but when you do the regen braking and come to a stop, it reduces that amount of energy. Pretty cool, I mean, 20% of the energy that you expel in EVs is put back into the battery through regenerative braking. And that's one of the big reasons that EVs are so much more efficient than gas cars. Gas cars only use 20 to 30% of their energy of the gas to actually move the car forward, whereas EVs are 70 to 80%, so significantly more efficient. All right, so the energy with the Aeroham wheel, again, 20 miles, five kilowatts of energy, and the average energy was 227 watt hours per mile. So what did we learn from this test? We learned that these are slightly more inefficient, slightly, and there could be variations to the tests that we did, but they look incredible. We both personally think that they look better. They have a performance look to the wheel, plus they're satin black, so I just think it goes better with the trim of the car. So I'll have those linked in the description with a discount code. If you wanna watch an efficiency test I did with my Model Y to show you which wheels are most efficient with your car, click this video right here. That's gonna really help you make your decision with your Model Y or any Tesla that you're buying.